and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to go over what you should be doing with your coins right now in Madden 20. Now, guys, we're pretty much nearing the end of the Christmas promo. For the most part, I got to go with, like, we have content coming today at 1030, which at this point of seeing this video, you should have already seen that video. But that should be one of the last content drops. Now, we're kind of getting concerned on whether or not there'll be a blitz. There still is potential. We still have, like, four more days in December worthwhile dropping content on now i don't know if they'll do it but we're still preparing for the worst there won't be and i'm gonna go over what you should be doing with your coins now kind of what i recommend kind of the the end game of christmas the end of 2019 for madden what you're gonna be doing right about now now there's quite a few things you gotta do because january is gonna be also a big month despite thinking that after christmas madden madden's over there's some of the biggest stuff comes out in january like christmas was cool but january brings about team of the year it brings about playoff promo and it, even, and it even starts to inch up to the end of the playoff promo, which wasn't the Super Bowl, which is into February. But there is quite a few things coming out in January. And Team of the Year one time, sometimes is the best promo they release all year. So, that's that. Now, guys, before we get into the video, still these 25 days of Poodle Miss. The coin rewards and everything has been increasing every time. So, as long as you guys hit me up, I don't personally announce the rewards. But if the guy wants to shout out the rewards I paid him, that's cool too. So, if you guys have probably seen a few of the guys do that, some of them just take the coins and run off. It is what it is. But all you gotta do to enter the giveaways, as per usual, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and then comment down below the secret word you hear throughout the video and your comments. Once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Good luck, and let's get into this video. So, guys, as you guys know, I'm broke, right? So, I'm not leading by example here, but it's time to start building the coin stack back up. Here's the reason why. I always tell you, don't splurge all in one promo. Now, I kind of did that, but that's because. I have enough things that I know I can sell to bring back my coin stack. I will never just completely sell every asset off and have no way of redeeming myself. I still have things to sell. I still have backup things that I had sitting there. So, I feel pretty secure with my decisions. But guys, as you guys can see, things are finally starting to come back up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Now, it's going to be a weird dynamic because we really don't know what's going to happen. Like, I mean, I have ideas, right? So, if you go to Ghost of Madden Present, they're going for like 200k. We're definitely under they're definitely undervalued but because kindling's not that important once they go once they go to trading they're gonna come up a little bit so you have two options here if i have any if I, you guys have any ghosts or zero chill players that, that you want to sell i'd maybe wait till the christmas promo ends and then when it ends you can go ahead and they'll convert to training and then you can sell them for a normal price because realistically i don't think they go for this price if we go to nfl 100 cards as you can see they really don't go for that price. They go for like more like 250-ish, 270-ish. The only reason Emmett Smith goes for so cheap is because everyone thinks he sucks. And then Barry, because he got overshadowed by like four of the running backs, his promo. Even Dickerson's come down quite a bit. If you guys ever wanted Dickerson, he's still here for the taking. Now, with the way prices are right now, NFL 100s aren't going to come back up much, guys. That's about it. Everyone got their free NFL 100 players. I think that... They're going to be at a certain price for quite a while. I don't really think they're going to be changing anytime soon. Look at this. Moss came down. Let's see. Here's another big one. Deion Sanders, 470. For the most part, just about everything did come down. So I don't think they'll be coming up much. So my best advice to you guys is build your coin stack up. And going to January, you can buy some really cheap NFL 100s. And then you got Team of the Year coming. And you have the playoff promo coming up. Team of the Year is going to introduce some of the best players all year. As well as Super Bowl promo. So you definitely want to be on top of that because that's going to be a big 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 deal team of the year is going to introduce the best players of the regular season well the best players of the regular season they should but they don't always actually give us the best players in each position but that's just my personal advice guys i recommend you start building that coin stack up because there's gonna be tons of things coming out and it's time to sell and it's my favorite part of every promo time to sell off the loose weight so to, to recoup your coins here the way to sell off your loose weight is going to be things like this so in my opinion let's go to let's go to the madden the ghost of madden present the guys that you really don't want to be keeping so in my opinion, Leighton Van Der Esch, if you have him, sell him. Wait till he's a little above 200k, sell him. Gurley, sell him. Now the guys, if they're not, that's fine. Hold on to them. But if they're not, sell him. Mahomes, Mahomes is fine, honestly. He's a budget beast. He's he's a quarterback on a budget almost. That's how cheap he is. You could really get you get a beastly quarterback for a cheap price. I prefer Lamar or Michael Vick, but Mahomes gets the job done. He has great abilities and he's really not that expensive. So you can hold on to Mahomes. He's a guy that can go past the promo. JJ Watt, <coughs> excuse me. I think he's got to go. 
I don't think he's a guy. He's not a long-term option at left end. I think you gotta, you gotta just say, screw off Watt and just move on with him. So that's from the Ghost of Madden present. Those are the guys that I think gotta go. Now, Ghost of Future, guys, you can make some coins back on. Terry McLaurin, I don't think he's a guy you hold on to, but he's got really great stats. So if you have him already, like, it's whatever. Let's see. Oh, I have to go to that to fill these out, right? Now, the other Ghost of Futures, like Chris Lindstrom, uh, I think he's ass. He's got to go. Brian Burns got to go. And Devin Bush is actually a beast. You can kill down to him if you already have him. He's a beast. So, so far, Mahomes and Bush are like the only two guys that I really, really think you should really be holding on to. Now, let's go to Ghost of Past. These are the guys that I'd recommend actually holding on to. Wow, they came down in price. They came down a lot. All right, Michael Strahan is 258. All right, so guys that I, I power up and I hold on to are Michael Strahan. He's one that I hold on to. Bo Jackson's the other one, and so is Mel Blunt. I think you can go and get, go ahead and do the set for all three of these guys and be content with your decision and just rock with them. I really do. I think you can take all three of them. Like, out of this whole promo, these are the three guys that I really recommend you keep. Think about it. They're going to be good enough to be Team of the Year type cards. Like, Bo Jackson powered up and everything is going to be one of the best running backs in the game the rest of the year. So... No problem with that. Trans left end. Really going to be one of the best left ends for quite a while. Like, they have already above all threshold stats. I'm really not concerned. Your word is Grinch. Comment down below the word Grinch. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And comment your comments. I want you to all the Stinny Grinch to win. Good luck. Turn. And they're really, really cheap. They're going to be cheaper than most team of the year cards will probably end up being. And then Michael Vick's down to 415. Yeah, I assume this price will come down eventually. Probably going to end up being like the 350 range, which kind of sucks. I did pay a lot for these cards. I think I paid a total of like 850000 for the set. So... Had I waited a little bit longer, I probably could have done like 750 for the set, and then it would have been a little bit cheaper. But it is what it is. Madden has been weird with prices this year, guys. I'm not gonna be honest with you. Everything is super cheap in comparison to other years. I don't know what's different about this year, but everything is super cheap. Like things have never been this cheap in Madden. You could literally buy everything nowadays. But personal that and Vic, I think that you want to come away with the Madden, all the Madden packs. You want to come away with all of them, and then maybe Mahomes. And then Devin Bush. Those are the only guys. Everything else, I think you want to. Re I recommend yourself start building your coin stack up because team of the years are going to be super expensive. Like I think they're going to be like probably upwards to 97 overalls, maybe 98 overall. Last year there were Bobby Wagner and Gurley with the 298s. If they go up to that level, that extent of overall, which I don't know if they will, because Ghost of Madden Pass kind of capped at 96s. So I believe that now the team of the years would probably be like 95, 96, 97, or they'll be 96, 97, 98. It really depends. But if they're 98 overalls, those are going to cost at least 500, 600k. Pop, it's gonna be like when NFL 100 first dropped. So it's gonna be pretty expensive. You wanna start building your coin stack up now because that you that last year dropped around like January 16th ish, January 14th ish. So that's literally two weeks from now. In two weeks, we're going to have some of the best players of the year in Madden. So you have to anticipate that you're gonna need a lot of coins for that. And our next series update probably won't be until either late January or early February. I don't think it'd be soon, right? I mean, we did kind of just go through a whole month of this new series, but it'll probably be sometime mid-January or February, so you can't anticipate that for a big coin boost. So it's not going to be much. It's just going to be doing what you got to do. Oh, and as far as building your coins up, guys, make sure you go play the solo. Make sure you go do your NFL 100 solo, because it does save you a lot of coins if you go play this NFL 100 solo and you get yourself your free player pack from doing all of them, such as the NFL. They don't show it here, but when you get all of them done, you're going to get a free NFL 100 player now i don't see the nfl 100 week six which is kind of weird but i recommend you go ahead and you go get them done because once you get them done you will get your free nat centennial fantasy pack so that's just my best my best friends i can give you guys that that does drop tonight tonight is it's friday today so friday night's gonna be dropping so go get that done because you can replace let's say you have you bought moss for 400k you can go put you can go put the fake um uh, fake moss the nat moss toss them in there and sell your moss and make a ton of coins back so get that done you guys it's just there's just a ton of things to be doing right now so to recap cut off dead weight all the players, you're not, they're not going to carry into the next promo, like McCaffrey, Todd Gurley, Van. those guys aren't even useful at, I mean, that useful now, get rid of them now, don't hold them on to the next promo, just save them, and then as far as coin making, there's not much in terms of making coins right now, but I would recommend you sell things at their higher price and don't wait, because that's going to be a good way, a good way, a, a good way to make coins is, is trying not to lose coins, that's in my opinion, that's my, that's the best thing I can give you guys right about now, now, Playoffs also start after Team of the Year, so you're going to have to be vig uh, vigilant. There's going to be two things coming out at the same time. It's going to be Team of the Year and then right into playoffs. I'm pretty sure Team of the Year comes right before playoffs and then playoffs start. So, then we get the Super Bowl, then we keep going. And before you know it, we're Madden 21. Like, that's how, thing, that's how quickly things have went. If you really realize, Madden usually dies around, like, or starts to slow down a little bit around, like, April. April-ish. So, we only got about four more months. So, that's how quickly Madden went. We, we flew through this game already. But it's super exciting, guys. Tons of things to be doing. But... Guys, I hope I'm hoping I'll give you some coin anxiety, but you gotta you gotta be on top of that because it's gonna it's gonna come to a point where things are gonna come out fast. Team of the year drops what 32 
play like over 32 players because it's like one to two for each position it's gonna come out fast it's gonna come out with tons of players it's gonna kill the market so that's what i'm saying to hold on to too many things is eventually will kill the market because of just the amount of the sheer amount of things that are coming out and their overalls and then the playoffs everything's gonna kill the market so make sure you're only holding on to things you think you can use year long or things you like bo jackson can always be a backup with with great cams and everything hold on to things you know you can use now and for at least another month or so and calf reason wasn't even good when he came out and he's not going to be that great coming into next month but we got a busy january coming up so i recommend you start selling things off and i think the prom was almost over we got about four more days left of actual probably usable content besides today that we're going to be getting and then i can't imagine there's much more and there's more ghosts to pass i believe coming today so pass is usually the best one so stay tuned for all that but guys it is about it for the video if you haven't already make sure to enter the 25 days of poop all you gotta do to enter is like the video subscribe to the channel comment down below the secret word and your content once you do those things you enter to win good luck thank you guys so much for watching Hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure to come to the 1030 content video to hear the giveaway winner in case it was you and see the content. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.